The KwaZulu-Natal government, in collaboration with NASA and Microsoft, are rolling out mobile data analytics skills labs at, most under, at mostly underdeveloped skills. The move aims to prepare pupils for skills needed in the fourth industrial revolution. KwaZulu-Natal Premier Lumusa Dubing Mube joins us for more on the story. Uh, Premier Mube, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. Firstly, explain how these labs are going to be are going to work, and how do you identify the schools where they'll be rolled out? Um, thanks, uh, Kirti. Um Well, we have uh, the project that we launched today of the digital uh, lab, uh, where our learners um, are taking a giant step to be part of the new universe um, of possibilities which are anchored on the digital uh, technology or digital economy. Um, the way they are going to be working is that uh, we've started uh, enrolling um, uh, learners um, in two categories. One is the learners that are going to be um, uh, taught um, as um, data analysts and data scientists. Um, on the other side, uh, we have um, the young learners who are also going to be, um, you know, learning um, just the normal um, digital and technologies um, in this lab. Um, the launch um, of a collected province for us, um, it really marks the beginning of the long-term uh, projects that we want to roll out um, to the rest of the province uh, towards um, digitization of our economy, but also providing jobs for a lot of people um, at the same time. Who will be running these labs? And the labs are going to be um, run by um, the educators that are, um, well, they are young people that have already been trained. Um, we took some of them as um, unemployed graduates, uh, and they already have certificates, uh, international certificates. These learners as well are going to be receiving internationally recognized certificates, and after which will also be put on the database of international data scientists and data um, analysts um, so that they could be able to open their own businesses or they can also be employed um, anywhere in the world um, using um, these certificates. Mm. One of the reasons I ask a question around who who's going to be running these labs is that often when you know these facilities are brought in particular uh, to underprivileged schools, you find that there isn't enough capacity or even support to help sustain the work that needs to be done in those labs to ensure that it fully benefits the learners and also the, the institution. Yes, um, as I say, Kate, that we have already um, learners that um, are training the trainers. Um, we have quite a, a, a big um, cohort of learners that we started um, getting through the system uh, for the past year. Um, we took, uh, we're taking from the unemployed graduates, we take them through a year of training as data scientists, data analysts, but others are, are trained in different um, ways of uh, installing, uh, you know, the satellite dishes, uh, putting up the microwave dishes, and, and a number of other um, technological skills. And we are using um, these um, educators as the, the, the trainers for other uh, young people. And um, these learners also themselves are opening their own um, small businesses because in the, at the same time while they are training, they are able to open their own, um, you know, kiosk of selling the data, of, um, you know, fixing um, the gadgets, uh, of installing um, internet or connectivity for communities along the way where already um, uh, communities or that particular school is connected because people have got to register if they want to be connected um, to the um, internet or um, to that um, a particular site where we already established the lab. So we have uh, more than enough actually um, uh, uh, these young people who are educators and um, as we uh, are going to be you know, extending this to the rest of, of the province, we are very confident um, that uh, we actually um, in our database 
of, um, of unemployed um, graduates, we have quite a huge number that we are still even trying to absorb so that, um, again, they get retrained and they are able to get into the market. How are you identifying the schools where the, this rollout is taking place? Um, the schools where um, this is taking place, we are first targeting those that are along already um, the existing um, a connection. Uh, for instance, um, there is um, a, a connectivity that we installed um, a year ago um, through um, the, nation, the national uh, connectivity of the country. So we are using um, those uh, connectivities and then linking um, all these other sites um, that we have identified. Um, the schools that we are identifying in particular, we're starting with those that are uh, particularly in the rural areas, in the township areas, the schools that we know that there is not enough infrastructure or such um, training is not available for those um, young people or those learners. Because um, as you would know, that one of the issues that, you, uh, that would be raised is that how are we going to deal with the shortage of infrastructure? The way we are dealing with is that um, these containers or digital lab that we have are, um, are driven or, or, or they are powered uh, by solar, so there is no need for electricity in that regard. So they are already powered by the solar. And then the software as well as the hardware that is there is the one that is supported by um, a various institutions, be they its government. Uh, we're working with Microsoft, uh, for instance, and other, uh, you know, partners that we are getting along the way. All right. KwaZulu-Natal Premier Numusa Dube Ngube. Uh, that's where we leave it for tonight.